welcome back to the channel and welcome to yet another tour video. Yes, hot on the heels from my trip to Garmisch with BMW. I'm actually off again, this time with Suzuki. I'm at Suzuki GB in Milton Keynes and we're heading, well, we're heading for Copenhagen in Denmark. So I've never really traveled that sort of way before. So quite interested about this. We're gonna be doing it on the GX. Unfortunately, I can't do it on my GX. We'll go into details of why that is. But uh, we're on some GXs, we've got Mossy, we've got James from uh, the Germany trip, James Oxley from ABR magazine. It's going to be really, really good. Couple of ferries and Copenhagen in Denmark. So uh, this should be a really quite interesting tour series, I hope. So if that sounds of interest, set yourself down, get a cup of tea and chop see roll that intro. Here are the bikes and we are set. Quite a small little group of us. I think there's only four of us who are actually uh, riding and then you've got two, two Suzuki Outriders as well. But uh, this is gonna be very, very interesting. As you know, or a lot of you will know, I've got a long-term GX, so I know the bike very well now. And uh, unfortunately, I can't take my own bike on this trip because these bikes have been ridden back by other people. So we're riding to Copenhagen and then we are flying back and another group of people will ride these bikes back from from Denmark so it should be good I've uh, bought a few essentials with me which I know I'm going to need one is the little screen protector from pyramid plastics pyramid accessories that's a game changer on one of these that's going to be absolutely necessary I may even be renting this out for hundred pound a day to people uh, the bike is also has heated grips so it has the optional heated grips and it is fitted with the uh, premium seats which I don't have on mine so I'll be interested to uh, to try the premium seats out. Well we've had a little uh, bit of tea, fish and chips, a bit of tartar sauce, very nice and now uh, that's it. We've got about a three hour ride to Harwich, to two and a half hours, three hours. Um, yeah and then on to the boat for the evening. We're just trying to work out if the bar is going to be open. Hope so. We want a few drinkies. We've got James, maybe our magazine. Reunited. Tra travelling. Travelling yeah. brothers. Travelling brothers. Yeah, exactly. Every every trip I've been on this year, on a tour, James has been there. <laughs> Still sober. Still sober, I know. And it's uh, 20 to 7 in the evening. What's going on? And we've got Chris Moss. Fully loaded to my left. <laughs> He's there in the middle of their bag somewhere. And then we've got uh, James and Jack from Suzuki. And behind them, we've got Dave Manning. You can't see where the man stops and the bags begin, can you? <laughs> it's just it's madness. I think we've got two and a half hour ride to, to Harwich now. On the ferry, we've got a cabin. And I think we arrive at the Hook. The Hook of Holland. I think is where we're Hook of Holland, eight in the morning. I think tomorrow, then we've got a full on day riding all the way across to Hamburg. Um, overnight at Hamburg, tomorrow night, and then on to Denmark, Copenhagen on the Wednesday. I don't think many people sort of go to Denmark. It's not a, a tried and tested sort of route, is it? And I think that's why they've chosen it. You know, rather than doing the Alps again or Spain again, you know, go somewhere a little bit different. So yeah, Denmark it is. Denmark it is. We have a, quite a boring ride now all the way to uh, Harwich, so I will uh, update you when we get a little bit closer. Speak to you in a minute. We're still on our way to Harwich. Look at the view. Look at that, look at that there. Look at that sunset. That's gorgeous, isn't it? We go for about uh, 40 minutes, I suppose. I'm not quite sure <laughs> what route we're getting to. Uh, Harwich is sort of like um, South End on Sea, sort of that very sort of easterly point of East London. You know, I'm not sure even London, is it? I, I don't think I've ever been. I've never been to Harwich. 
behave for good reason. <laughs> we'll see. Well, I think we are nearly there. Uh, just stopping for a bit of fuel, I think, before we uh, jump on the ferry. So I think we've done about 100 miles so far. It's now 25 past eight. <laughs> but what's your problem? What's your problem? <laughs> Is that your one? That's your one. <laughs> Who's is that one? So we've got to do that, get rid of that, allow access to that. So we have arrived by the look of it. There's the boat, or the ship, <laughs> boat. There's the yacht. So yeah, it's been quite a pleasant little ride down here, not taking too long. 10 past nine now, we're going on with full tanks of fuel. Yeah, it's only the second uh, sort of big ferry crossing I've done. I've done the uh, the crossing down to Santander on the Brittany ferries, you know, from Portsmouth. But this is the only second bike ferry I've been on. Got all my gear. I do like a, I do like a tank bag. It's ideal, isn't it, for this sort of thing? Get everything where you want it. It's just a pain we got to put petrol in. It's good like that. Are they going to stop us? So oh, yeah. There we go. Right, sorry, oh. Just you a bit more room. No worries. There you go. Very strict security tonight. Cheers. Looking for exactly. All good? Yeah. Lovely, cheers. I'm just all hoping that the bar's gonna be open. We all need a celebratory drink. It's all you know, it's been alright riding down here, but you can't help feel the your trip doesn't start until you hit till you hit European soil. Well, I guess when you're on the boat it starts the fun, doesn't it? Well, similar size to the uh, I'd say to the Brittany ferries which go to the to Spain. Yeah, down to Santander, looks a similar size to me. made it we are in the room I'll give you a little quick tour quick tour of the room so there we are double bunker got it all to myself of course quite nice quite you know typical sort of big fairy cabin not too bad so I say yeah reasonable got a bit of chairage a bit of bedage and then a bit of a uh, one of those oh the endless cabins the Especially endless the corridors the hunt for the bar well, I've done that was <laughs> oh, we're right at the end, eh? I've done that was oh, we're literally no, right at the end. Right? Go to so, we've got to go this way. Oh. I can remember your number cabin, that's the thing. Yeah, that well, maybe not later. I do at the moment, <laughs> maybe not after a few beers. It's like some sort of horror movie, isn't it? These corridors never get to the end. Oh, oh, boys. Good morning. Well, it's uh, I think 7 a.m. local time. At the bar last night, we didn't uh, didn't appreciate the time zone difference. <laughs> so I think we went to bed at like quarter to two local time. So uh, yeah, 7 a.m. now, feeling all right, not too bad. About sort of 5 a.m., we started to hit a bit more sea, and there's a little bit of sway now. So I'll try not to think about it too much. You really wouldn't want to be really drunk and have the motion of, of the ship <laughs> in this confined cabin with no windows or anything. There may be some chuntering going on if that was the case. But uh, yeah, so we're going to meet by the bikes in half an hour, so i just got to pack up my shit and uh, yeah, get ready. Should be a good day today. I think we're stopping off um, Neurecht, is it like a little city, and we're going to have some pancakes for breakfast once we get off. About eight o'clock, I think we disembark. Oh, 
so here we are back at the bikes oh, so, <laughs> so much to carry up and down I took one of the panniers tank bag rucksack obviously riding gear oh bloody knackered up and down them stairs with all that the lifts are bloody full of course so 10 10 flights of stairs down to the bikes later and i'm definitely ready for a coffee we've got about i think we've got about an hour's ride now into utrecht don't know something like that where the strap's been over the seat there it's actually pushed the seat a little bit normally you get a cushion to put down put the strap over no cushions get me to the coffee james a welcome to the netherlands welcome to the netherlands 7.25 bit, bit cloudy I think the sun is meant to come out oh, looking forward to a coffee hungry as well I will uh, turn you back on once we get through passport control see you in a minute mine's in the bag I'm organised so welcome to uh, Rotterdam this is Rotterdam is where we've uh, ported so the hook of Holland but basically Rotterdam. So today we are heading to the coffee and then we're heading to Hamburg. So out of the Netherlands, into Germany. And I think the afternoon's gonna be sort of very scenic and Germanic, <laughs> whatever Germanic looks like. Uh, and then Hamburg tonight. And I think tonight will be, will be quite a good night. If everyone's not, not absolutely shattered, I think it's a fair few miles today. I think it's about 350 miles, 400 miles. So a decent stint, you know, obviously, hopefully, coffee stop, lunch stop. But yeah, a decent amount of miles, really. Anyway, turn you back on in a minute. I'm boring myself. Well, this is Utrecht, where we're stopping for coffees and we been promised pancakes and we been promised pancakes. Uh, oh, I'm getting stitched up here. Sorry, cheers. What's going on here? I don't know. It's all over the shop. But uh, yeah, a bit of pancake action. But it's just been like motor. Bit about an hour and a half getting here. An <laughs> hour and a half out of the motorway. It's quite cold as well. It says it's 21 degrees, but that is just utter nonsense. I'm looking forward to this coffee. Bloody coffee, elusive coffee. Go. Okay. Oh, don't know what's going on. What's going on here? I just actually got to stop there. I don't know what's, what the rules are with the push bikes. Welcome to Amsterdam. That's not Amsterdam. Oh, she didn't even look, did he? Where's she going? Not a helmet in sight. <laughs> not a push bike helmet in sight. I'm surprised. This is actually quite pretty, isn't it? There's push bikes everywhere, just darting in and out. You don't know who's got right away. Some, you know, not only you've got junctions on the road, the, the push bikes have got junctions, separate junctions. Then a quiet who's got right away. Wow, look at that. Cathedral. Oh, looks like we're here. Finally coffee time well here it is finally we've made the pancake shop Anna pancakes that is a change very very small inside but I've gone for the morning shizzle which I think is pancakes a savory one pancakes um, fried eggs Ugh. so yeah it's chaos push bikes everywhere yeah it looks very nice but uh, yeah here we are Utrich <laughs> yep I'm probably not saying it right. Look at the cathedral out there. Though. Very, very picturesque. It's the cyclists. Finally. I said bloody delight. So 
So there we go. That was uh, Utrecht. Lovely, lovely pancakes. That was absolutely delicious. And it was a lovely coffee as well. So I've had my coffee, had my pancakes. I'm happy now. I'm happy now. Apart from, we've got to do like another two hours on the motorway now, just getting out of Netherlands, getting out of Dutch, getting out of Netherlands into Germany. Uh, we've got a lunch stop, but because we're so behind schedule, I'm not sure what we're going to do. We might be cutting the lunch stop a bit short. That was very filling, that, that, that pancake. I think it's like four eggs, uh, avocado, sort of mashed avocado. I think it was about three pancakes in the middle, lots of veg, bit of cheese, absolutely, absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous it was, broke my, it's that good, I broke the pillow off my jacket, <laughs> I can't do my jacket up, pulled the zip off, <clears throat> should have bought some duct tape, oh, I wish I had actually, just in case, taped myself into my jacket, I think, what I do to my passport, I said nah, it's a not, you know, that's the only thing with like touring, isn't it? Look at this fella. What do you do with your passport? Where do you keep it? I could keep it in here, but I think something in here is quite likely to be stolen or snatched. So I've got it in my backpack. But again, that, that could get snatched, couldn't it? Or I could leave it behind. So it's like inside your jacket, I suppose, is quite a good, good spot. But I'm constantly thinking, passport, where is it? Check it. Is it in there? Well, you know what a faffer I am. <laughs> From my German trip. That'll, that'll come as no surprise. So you got your seat for the plane. Are you queuing to get on the plane? Yeah, 24. 24E. I know it. Maybe five minutes. Was it 24E? Let's get, let's get the ticket out again. 24E. Ticket goes back in the back pocket. Five minutes later. Oh, was the ticket? I think it was 24E. I better check it again. <laughs> GX so far is behaving like a champ. Knew it would, knew it would. I think they're, they're, it's going to be a real test of comfort today. Because I think what one thing it's not the best at is the seat is it's not very wide. It's quite well padded and deeply padded, but it's not that wide. So because it's quite a tall bike, so the shorties can get their legs down. You know, it's just, it's not very wide. So. It really does need to be a little bit wider. I've actually got some of those motorcycling padded shorts. <laughs> I haven't put them on there, I forgot to put them on. So I think I'm going to be regretting it. I was going to put them on in the toilets at that, where we stopped for that coffee, but such a tiny, tiny little shop. You had to literally, it's like playing Jenga, just trying to open the door of the toilets, not alone trying to get your, tra your trousers off in there and your boots off and put some cycling. So motorcycling shorts on. But I thought I'd give one. I, give, I thought I'd give those motorcycling shorts a go because I do suffer with a little bit of a sore body. Well, I've got. They only work if you've actually got them on, not got, not got them in your rucksack. You need to be around your nutsack, not in your rucksack. Anyway, looks like that's the end of the town centre. About to hit the motorway. I'll catch you in Germany, or if we see a windmill. See you in a minute. It's time for another fill up with fuel. I was just looking at the uh, fuel range at 48 kilometers left. I was like, mm, it's going down, it's going down. But we're stopping. Let's have a little bit of a sit rep. We've been going for five hours 50 <coughs> since yesterday, yesterday afternoon. Uh, 431 kilometers covered so far. Whatever there's in miles, I put it on the screen. Yeah, and that's it. The bike does, it does about 100 and 180 miles to a tank, 170, 180, something like that. It's got a 19 litre tank. So that's reasonable, isn't it? It's reasonable. That, that's enough for me in any, any, a stint anyway. I'm ready to get off after that log in the saddle on any bike. So that's, that's fine, about 170, 180 miles. Maybe a little bit more if you really, really cruise it. Does look nice in the, uh, the black. First one I've seen in the black and grey. It's quite nice actually that is. I don't 
Yes, uh, I think the blue is the colour. The cool kids have the blue, of course. But uh, the green's alright as well. The colours are alright, actually. But blue's my favourite. I think that black is my second favourite. Just coming into Germany. One kilometre Dutchland. So, yeah, this is, this is the end. End of the Netherlands into Germany. I don't know if there's some sort of border control. It's normally you don't sort of get border control, do you? Maybe uh, a little bit more worried about what's coming out of the Netherlands. <laughs> what's legal in the Netherlands, which may not necessarily be legal in Germany. Ooh, look at that ass. Look at that ass. Police, attention. The bikes, can we go straight on? Can we, can we, can we, do we have to go in? Like it. It's got a rifle, that girl, huh? Yeah. Serious shit. Who as they say. What have you done now, Mossy? Who's he interfered with now? Is this normal? Go from Netherlands into Germany? Well, if anyone uh, does this route regularly, let us know in the comments. I I've never seen quite so much security as what we've seen on this trip. Thank you. Looks like we've uh, got away with it. Oh, no, that was... Oh, Finger up the bum. Looking up your bum for packages. Anyway, Germany, we are here. Look at that little bad boy. Mark II Scirocco. Would be worth an absolute fortune now. James is gutted because he's dropped his helmet. Oh, no. Gutted, he's not happy, he's got a face on him. <laughs> <laughs> well, coming into downtown Hamburg, it's quite impressive. So yeah, quick, quick, because all the barrier opens, two of us got to go through. Oh, nearly had him. I don't fancy getting knocked off.